Hey guys, it's John here. Welcome back to the channel where I explore the microcosmos of sea monkeys and other instant pets. In today's video, I'm going to do an unboxing and review of this. It's a USB powered aquarium air pump that I've just received from eBay, although you can pick up the same product on Amazon for only $10. As someone who's part of the nano aquarium hobby, I've been keeping sea monkeys as pets for the last few years, and I'm always on the lookout for small and affordable aquarium accessories that can help my little colony thrive. I've recently become a huge advocate of using an airline 24-7 in my brine shrimp tanks, but since my tanks are so small, a powerful air pump really isn't necessary. For nano aquariums, the smaller the better, so I'm really excited to see if this product works well today. I'll leave an Amazon link down in the description for anyone who's interested in picking one up. This product comes with a rubber airline that's about 1 meter long, and a small airstone. To be honest, the airstone doesn't look like the nicest quality. There's a bit of dusty debris coming off it, so it probably needs a bit of a clean. But for such a low price point, it's nice that they include one in here at all. The air pump itself is nice and small, only 7 centimeters long, with a green silicon sleeve over the top. The compact size is really the reason I decided to purchase this. For my sea monkey tanks, all I need is something bubbling away slowly, and even the smallest pumps I've used in the past have an overkill for my needs. So this size should be a little bit more appropriate. From what I've read, it seems this pump will be adequate for anything as small as a nano shrimp tank, all the way up to about 10 gallons or 40 litres in size. The pump also has a small carabiner on the top end, so it can be easily hung up on a hook, and the black USB 2 power cable attached to it is about 1.4 metres long. There's no USB power brick included with this kit, so you'll have to source one of those yourself. For $10 I'm quite impressed that this kit has come with so much. The only thing I'm a little disappointed by is that an air control valve wasn't included. Many people purchasing this pump are likely going to be using it for nano aquariums, so having the control to reduce the pressure would be helpful. In fact I would consider it essential. Luckily I have this spare one lying around. Let's get this all set up so we can see how it works. I'm going to test out this kit in a 400ml sea monkey ocean volcano tank, because this is typically the kind of tank I'll be using this pump for. Assembly is pretty straightforward. You just need to put the airline into the pump and then plug the USB into a wall outlet. I've already gone ahead and given the airstone a good clean with some fresh water, because as I mentioned it seemed a little dirty. The air control valve that I added on does a good job at regulating the airflow, and it looks like it will be perfect for my needs. One of the primary concerns when it comes to air pumps is how much noise they make. This one isn't completely silent, but it's on par with the quietest small air pumps that I've used in the past. So from a noise perspective, I'm really happy with how this performs. Though for something that's only USB powered, it's pretty much what I expected. I should also note that this pump comes in 7 different colours too, though I decided to go with a light green one, because I'm always trying to promote the growth of green microalgae in my tanks, so I'm hopeful that this will be a good harbinger. I mentioned earlier that I've recently become an advocate for having an airline permanently bubbling away in your brine shrimp tank. This is for two main reasons. The first one is quite obvious, it adds plenty of fresh oxygen for your brine shrimp to breathe, but an airline actually does something even more important. Those of you who have tried raising sea monkeys before will know that raising the first generation to adulthood isn't too difficult, though the second generation babies that are born into the tank often don't live more than a few days. The reason for this is because second generation baby brine shrimp have to compete with the much larger and more capable adults for food, and unfortunately they're not very good at it. Adult sea monkeys are much better at accessing food particles sitting on the water's surface, or scraping green microalgae off the bottom of the tank where it usually grows, but the babies can't really do either of these things. Instead they can only consume food suspended in the water column, and because they're outcompeted, they seldom make it to adulthood. There are a few remedies for this problem, but one of the best solutions is using an air pump. A constantly flowing airline will keep the water in your tank perpetually circulating, so that any food particles are less likely to fall to the bottom of the tank, and instead will remain suspended in the water where the babies can access them to eat. Ever since I started using permanent air pumps with my Artemia colonies, I've noticed a significant increase in the number of latter generation babies reaching adulthood. If you've had trouble with newly born baby brine shrimp passing away after only a few days, this method is something I highly recommend you try out. After a few hours of using this air pump, I'm happy with how it performs, and for only $10, it's great value for money. These USB air pumps have only been on the market for a year or two, and for those of us in the nano aquarium hobby, it's nice to now have an air pump that's both small and really affordable while still fitting our needs. I can't speak for the longevity of this pump quite yet, as I've only just started using it, but it has an average 4 star Amazon rating, so that's promising. If I do have any trouble with it within the next few months, I'll pin a comment down in the comment section, letting you guys know what issue I had, and how long after using it the problem arose. I'll leave an Amazon affiliate link in the description too, for anybody who's interested in picking one of these up, along with some of the air control valves, and a bunch of other sea monkey tank accessories that will really help your sea monkey colony thrive. Any purchase made through this link will give me a tiny commission that really helps out the channel and will allow me to continue making content like this for you guys in the future. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and give it a like, and consider subscribing to my channel. I'm currently working on a DIY brine shrimp tank video that will teach you how to start a new colony from scratch, 
So look out for that in a couple of weeks from now, and I'll see you on the next one.